Hey everybody, what is going on? What is going on? It is spell work um, day. So this is where I give you different rituals to use in your day-to-day -day practices. I might do a prosperity. I might do love. I'm not sure. But whatever I do, it is a good thing. And what I would like for you to do, if you want to ring the bell or turn on the notifications, you may. Because I upload a lot of different rituals and spell to use in your magical um, walkings often. So I don't want you to miss any time I upload a spell. If you want to, please like, subscribe, and support my channel. And let's go. Let's talk about a spell. Mm-hmm. So, the spell that I'm giving you today is how to break up a love affair, okay? Has another person stolen your loved one from you, or do you still love the person, and do you wish to get them back from the thief that stole them from you? Now, yes, you can, with magic, break up the love affair between your loved one and your rival, Obviously, this is much better and certainly more effective than physically attacking or um, hurting your rival or doing a host of other things that can land you in, in trouble or in jail. We don't, we don't do that. We do it through magic. Caution. Do not use this ritual to break up a marriage or love affair of other people who have done you no wrong. Let me say that again. This is a caution. Do not use this ritual to break up a marriage or a love affair of other people who have done you no wrong. Doing that or attempting to do that could bring adverse repercussions on you. Now, another disclaimer, I'm only giving you the spell. I have nothing to do with the outcome. All right, so let me grab my water, y'all. Now, the following ritual, ritual can, however, safely be used when someone else has unfairly or maliciously taking your loved one from you, broken up your happy home, or it wouldn't have been happy, they wouldn't have left, or broken up your home, or etc. A good example of this is when someone uses their superior looks, their financial or social position to entice or buy off your lover or spouse. This is gonna be what you're gonna do, all right? Go ahead and get a piece of paper and a pen, and we're going to get started with this ritual. I am sitting outside, babies. I'm sitting outside enjoying. Now that, you see that back here? Y'all, that is my grape plant. Grapes. And it done grew all the way across my chair. So I have to get my husband to put up a nail or something so we can wrap it. Because it is growing, growing, guys. Yes, it is. So you're ready for this ritual. All right, here we go. So on any night when the moon is in waning phase, W-A-N-I-N-G, waning, you're going to perform this ritual at any time during the night. If possible, you're going to get some hair clippings from the head of each of the couples concerned. Now, common sense, I know maybe sometimes you can't do this. If you cannot get their hair, then you're just going to write down their full names across um, each other, form an X. So, uh, I don't have anything. Form it, I'm going to use my hands. The name of um, the target name of the other target just like that written across forming an x okay 
You're gonna place the hair or the piece of paper with their names on it into a small, clean, empty bottle. Then you're gonna drop some of your urine into the bottle until it is almost full. Urine, pee, piss, Shangri-La, that. You're gonna hold the bottle in your left hand, gaze at the contents and mention the names of the couple, beginning with the name of the thief first and make your wishes regarding them. And then you're gonna repeat until you have said the names and wishes three times in all. Then you're gonna to go to a stream or a river and throw the bottle into the water while standing facing the direction where the river or, um, or stream is flowing from, that direction. And you're gonna turn back and go home without looking back. Very soon and soon and very soon, serious roles will break out between the couple and their relationship will soon collapse. When they break up, you're gonna use any of the ritual described previously to win your loved one back. That I posted a, a ritual. Um, if they want to come back with you, for me, I wouldn't want them back. But if you want to win them back, I placed a ritual for that as well. That's why I told you guys, you better turn on the notification bell, like, subscribe to my channel, because I do post a lot of spells and rituals. This is something new to me. I usually used to keep my spells very to me, but because I didn't know, um, want anyone to say it was on me, but now that I know how to do the disclaimers and the outcome is not on me, I'm fine with it. So guys, again, support me, like, subscribe, and support my channel. Also, if you have any questions about the um, spell, put it in the com comment box. Or if you are one of those people that you don't want anyone to know what your question is, I want you to send me a private message, but be respectful. All right? Many blessings, y'all. Bye.